Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Today we have a special review of a watch uh, lent to the channel by a friend of the channel, Harun. Thank you so much, Harun, from at uh, uh, Watch Made on Instagram to uh, lend me two of his watches from his personal collection, two Orients actually. And uh, this is the first one I'm reviewing today. It's the Orient Bambino uh, 2, I think. That's the new version of the Orient Bambino. Pretty cool watch and I have to say, on this uh, Hirsch uh, leaf uh, strap, much, much better than the original one. So let's get s first things first. Let's use the caliber, which is now calibrated, hopefully, because I got a lot of flack uh, from the previous videos that I didn't use the caliber to people's liking. So here we have 38 millimeters, or 38.25, let's say and 44 lug to lug so i have around 10 millimeters of leeway and 12.25 thickness we have a 20 millimeters lug width and as you can see there is no loom on the dial it has a plexiglass it has a orient movement i think the reference number is here yes that's the one that's the f672 u automatic with the c235078 and i think the reference number of this watch is raac0m04y10b so what i like about the watch i really like that the crown is easy to grab it has a hacking hand winding uh, the polish from the let's say the, the the polish sections and the brush sections are really well combined um, there is a as you can see orient logo on the crown you have a little bit of etching on the rotor of the automatic movement which you can see, which by the way is a, is a plus in my book in this uh, 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 kind of watch because this kind of watch is the best kind of watch to start with watch collecting to gift somebody, uh, let's say a gift for their first watch and of course I would think seeing the mechanical movement at the back even though the movement is not that great or not that decorated but still is a plus in my book so let's put the watch on my wrist first off of course i have a 17.1 centimeter wrist i like to wear my watches under the bone so under the bone on my wrist from the side the strap makes the watch like i said before the strap makes the watch so much better so much nicer it's a little bit expensive the strap but it makes this watch so much better and if you wear it above the bone it will be looking something like this anyways let me get the time grapher up and put the watch on it and see how it's performing so that orient is performing excellent at plus four seconds per day 253 amplitude which is great as well and 0, 0.0 milliseconds error rate orient movements showing how they are done 21600 and definitely an excellent excellent watch i would definitely recommend this watch for anyone who wants a dress watch and forwardable dress watch and uh, definitely for people who's just starting the hobby this is the watch for you if you want an um, address watch, let's say an office watch with a look. You can see the blued hands. They are not blued, they are just uh, with uh, stickers, I think, or some kind of glue on it. Um, but look at that, looks very nice. Definitely one, one cool watch. Um, I try to keep the, uh, the review at a short. Uh, I'll cover now my, uh, let's say, what I liked and what I disliked. What I really liked, like I said, is the crown. The the size, 38 millimeters, is perfect for me. Uh, the lug-to-lug -lug 
this strap combination is a must if you're getting this watch or getting any dress watch definitely recommend you to get this strap i would get one myself um the dial configuration look quite nice except the date which i don't like i like the mineral glass because it gives you this concave look but at the same time it will get scratch uh, uh, scratched very easily i like there is a case back see-through case back so people starting the 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 their first watch or their first collection to yeah have this inside so anyways thank you so much for watching and yeah this is the invitation to let me close close this <laughs> This is the invitation to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. You'll find the subscribe button here. You'll find two videos on the left and on the right that you might enjoy as well. See you in the next one and have a great one. Bye bye everyone.